Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared and today we're talking about a bunch of knives that I'm happy I have. Now, I could make a huge list with this. These are all knives you can get right now. And these just released. This is the Penguin Plus, the QSP Penguin Plus and the Mini. Here's a regular version just so you can see the size difference of the three, but these were just released. I'm going to link it right down in the description. There's a bunch of different versions of this, by the way, of the Plus, um, but it does come in 20 CV steel. I know some people were wishing they would have came up with a like a 154 CM model because, you know, this is a more of a premium version, but I got to say, I absolutely love it. This to me is the perfect Penguin. Now, I do really like this one, which is M390 titanium jigged, and you can get these on traditional pocket knives um, website, which it's really good, super slim. And if you look, the full size one is basically just as slim. It's a little tiny bit thicker, but I'm happy about that because it feels slimmer than even the mini, which it is. So now the mini is a little chonker, but still an awesome little knife. So. If you really like the Penguin, but you want a little mini version, and it's in 14C28M, which personally, just personally, I, I like that a little bit more than 154CM, even though 154CM is great. But yeah, the, to me, this, it just feels so solid, um, especially the Penguin Plus. This one, I like it the most. Um, I love the flipping action, the detent, the blade shape, the ergos are so neutral. It's just going to work in any grip, and I love that. Um, the mini one, you know, I still like it. I like it quite a bit. It's a little small for me, but I understand it, and I know a lot of people love this size knife because it does work so good and to be honest in many cases a small knife like this will work better for most things than a big knife um but yeah the qsp penguin plus and the penguin mini i am really happy to have these um in the collection um and even this one too the the jig bone pattern one because this was my favorite one before this one came out now let's talk about the next knife the next knife this one's been out for a little while but i love the scorpion the scorpion is this sorry off grid knife scorpion it's done so well it's been out for a couple of years but i have to say man this is just every time when i pull it out I, I want to carry it, the action, the fit, the finish, the ergos are just there. It's a knife that I don't think anybody's purchased and thought like, man, I, I wish I wouldn't have got this. I don't see that here. I think anybody who gets this is going to be impressed even more than they probably thought they were going to be. That's what happened with me, at least. When I when I first seen it, I was thinking like, eh, you know, it's probably pretty good. But then when I got it, I was like, Oh, yeah, I see why. It's difficult to fail. The detent is just perfectly well-tuned. Good access to the lock bar, so it's very easy to disengage. It doesn't look like it, but this side is higher than this side. It is very easy to disengage. You can do it right from the side. Very smooth on the drop. The fit, the finish. It has a reversible deep carry clip that's really good. That works great. Great clip, by the way. Great clip. And because of the size, even though it's a titanium milled, or the titanium spring pocket clip, titanium deep carry clip. It doesn't bother you in the hand, at least with my hand size, because it kind of pops out the end because it's so big. Even if I spread out, it's, it's still extremely comfortable in every grip. And I love that. The blade complements the handle really well. Um, the back spacer has this nice jig geared, um, milling or i don't know jimping all the way up and down it that that gives you a little bit of traction in the palm yeah it's extremely extremely well done the blade steel is m390 so and i think i think we is the one that does this but i think now best tech might be doing all their knives i'm not positive on that but it's one or the other which both of them do a good job with their knives next this one's a new one but you can get it right now I will link it down in the description. Now, I guess there's another version coming very soon that should be out in the next few days or something that has, um, I think, red linen micarta or something like that. Some some sort of other kind. But this one, the 20 CV and aluminum version, is out right now. I can link it down in the description. It's not out at Blade HQ yet. I can only link it from Amazon, but you can get it. Deep carry clip. 
that is reversible and it uses the clutch lock. I'm sure you guys know what the clutch lock is, but just in case if you don't, it's basically an access lock or a crossbar lock that's adjustable. And you, it also comes with new Omega Springs, so you can switch the Omega Springs so you can give stronger action. So you have the choice of, you know, having a weaker detent and weaker action or stronger. Anyways, I really like this knife. <laughs> Like a lot, like a lot. Um, now I do, I will be honest, I think it's overpriced. I do think it's overpriced, but two things can be true at the same time. I think it's overpriced and I think it's done very well. <laughs> I really, really like it. The Ergos are just so comfortable. It's such a good size. Like It's like the perfect size. It's a little bit bigger than the Drop Bear. Just a little bit, which is a great size and the blade shape, you know, it's a very useful blade shape because of the size. You can still do utility cuts pretty comfortably, not as good as the drop bear, but you still can. And the cutting performance and geometry is really good. It passes through materials really, really well. Um, very fidgety, it has a nice thwack to it. I, I really like the acoustics and the sound of it. The the liners are blacked out. Same with the clip. The one thing I wish the, the thumb studs were black, you know, or dark gray to match the coating. But I think I might have a pair from another Kaiser I could just switch because these are removable. But yeah, the Kaiser Escort, Dirk Pinkerton design, was originally a frame lock. And now it is the new version because the, the, the frame lock one is discontinued. But... Yeah, I'm so happy I have that. I love that knife. Now, here's another knife that I haven't shown in a little while, but it's my Sig Sauer K320. They have an aluminum version, and I'm really, I'm really thinking about um, getting it. I almost got it at Blade Show, and I didn't, even though I did get to try it, and I loved it. So I, I'm thinking about truly getting it because this is a knife that ever since I got it. When I first got it, I had a couple complaints, but the longer I have it, the more and more I just like it and like it more and like it more and like it more. And there's knives like in our collections, and I think a lot of us that have been collecting for a while know this, that those wind up being like your favorite knives. The knives that, you know, like you, you might have gotten... And it was good, but maybe the expectations you had were a little bit higher. But then over time, it just... It's one you gravitate towards. It's one that, you know, just works for you really good. And this is that knife. It's a work knife. It's a tool. It's something that is good in the field, good on the job site. And I like that. You can toss it around. You don't have to worry about scratching it or abusing it. It's got a very strong lockup. Man, they did such a good job on this crossbar lock. It is so rock solid. Very, very smooth. I wish the hole was a little bit bigger, but I'm okay with it. And the slow roll is actually kind of satisfying. Uh, you can choke up. It does have this little nipple right there that I don't like. But I could get rid of it easily. It, it wouldn't hurt anything if I, you know, cut it out. But I also noticed, though, that it does kind of protect my finger. And when I'm cutting, doing repeat cuts, I can let material just kind of slide right into the edge without getting caught in a choil or anything, as long as my finger's on the choil. S30V. FRN handles, um, but like I said, they do have the aluminum version now for a few more bucks or, you know, a little bit more money that looks really good and feels really good and feels even better than this one. And I think the clip might even work a little bit better because they did soften a spot right there for the clip, just so you know, because it does have like that uh, skateboard tape texture. Um, but anyways, I absolutely love the K320. Next my favorite concept. Now, recently I got a few other concepts that I really, really like. But nothing yet has been able to, to beat this one, in my opinion, from concept. This is a concept sheepdog. And, I, man, I love this knife. The Ergos are so hand-melting. It's very comfortable, at least in my hands. But there is another version, though, that I think... Like, you don't want to be mistaken if you're going to get this. Get the double thumb stud version. They have a single thumb disc version. It's not as good as this one. It has, it doesn't have the sharpening choil, and it doesn't have, um, you can't reverse flick it. 
Um, and it also has more screws on the back. But anyways, this version in particular, so ergonomic, so slicey, so useful. Not that it's a mega slicer, but because of the ergos, it's it's super slicey. Um, the blade is great for utility cuts. The, the, the access to the lock bar is so comfortable to disengage. This is one of the most comfortable knives, in my opinion, to disengage. The action is stupid good. I mean, so good. It's so smooth. Yeah, just something about this one. It, it checks a lot of boxes, and it feels like premium quality. Um, I really like Sheepdog's designs. S35 VM blade steel, full titanium frame lock, steel lock bar insert, titanium clip that works great. Um, yeah. And they do have other options, like different colors and stuff. This video is becoming longer than I wanted to, so I'm going to go through these ones pretty quick. The Urban EDCF 5.5. I am so happy to finally have one of these in the collection. I love this knife. This is one of the better knives that came out. I think it came out this year. Am I wrong about that? Did it come out last year? I might be wrong about that, actually. Regardless, <laughs> it is such a good knife. It's one that I think can be respected in just about anybody's collection. The action and detent is so consistent. I've tried about five of them at this point, and every single one of them felt identical. They all had that super um, clean breaking detent. Um, the access to the lock bar, and it is a titanium liner lock with obviously... My card scales, there is different um, options though. They have titanium frame lock and um, they have different versions. Um, titanium backspacer and titanium clip and M390 steel. Very, very smooth on the drop. The, the lock bar is easy to disengage. The hole is easy to get to and deploy. The set and finish is really good. The ergos are really good. And it feels like premium quality and it looks good. It's an EDC knife that just looks good. Um, not, next, the Jutland. I am so happy I got this. This is one that it exceeded my expectations by far. Now, I had tried the another giant mouse and was really happy about it. I was like, man, man, they did a really good job on that, that one. So when looking at this one, I was like, I wonder if they did a good job on this one. Um, it is an Italian made one while the other one was made by Riyadh. So I, I didn't have a lot of confidence, but then I got it and I am so happy. The detent is so crisp, so clean, such a nice break, very smooth on the drop. The flipping action, you can't fail this thing. The clip point blade is going to be very useful for EDC purposes and for outdoors and hunting and things like that. Now, yes, it's not going to be the best utility cutter, but the way this one works, it still does utility cuts very, very well. Good access to lock bar, very smooth, LMAX steel, beautiful satin finish. Um, good looking micarta too. They do have an orange version, I believe, though, for actual hunters. Titanium backspacer, and then the wire clip works great. Um, but yeah, the fit and finish, the action, the detent, ah, it's so good. I, I, I'm very happy I got that one. And last one, really quick, the Wee Sakshi. Now, I do want to rit dye this one, and I think it would look a lot better if I did, and I, I'm gonna, you know, soon. But it has 20 CV steel. I think for the price for this version, it's like 165 bucks, 170 bucks. It's not a bad price, or like around $160 or less. I think it, that's what it is for this exact version. There's other versions that are a little bit more money, but it's a damn good looking knife. Simple, very, very snappy, great action extremely smooth titanium liner lock you can still see the steel lock bar insert so it is very premium made with the titanium liners titanium clip that that's not reversible i almost said reversal it's not reversible but it does have titanium t8 hardware all the way around and the 20 cv um blade has a stone wash finish so it's going to hide scratches pretty good the ergos are really nice it's slightly contoured you can choke up a little bit but it's simple and that's what i love about it it's something you can easily just grab right out of your pocket or sorry grab off 
of out of your collection and carry it and know it's going to be a super useful tool. There's nothing extravagant about it. It's simple. It's useful. It looks good. And, you know, handing it to somebody, um, people like it. It's a knife that people can appreciate because it is done very well. And it doesn't break the bank considering the parts and materials. Like I said, there are more premium versions, but this one is the the, the more affordable one with the JG10. Anyways, I, I'm, I'm really happy to have it because it's, like I said, it's easy to grab. It looks good. And, you know, w before I got it, I wasn't sure. I like, I wanted it, but I wasn't, I just didn't pull the trigger, but I'm so happy I did. But anyways, there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.